Number 35. The arterioles, small arteries leading to an organ, constrict in order to decrease flow to the organ. To shut down an organ, blood flow is reduced naturally to 1% of its original value. By what factor did the radii of the arterioles constrict? Penguins do this when they stand on ice to reduce the blood flow to their feet. All right. Um, so on this one, I'm going to run through it quickly. Check out number 34. I showed how to use this equation in order to deduce everything. All right, but we're going to try to approach this one a little faster. Uh, so what we have here is we realize that uh, Q is related to the radius, basically like this, that the original Q value would equal the original radius raised to the fourth power. And then I can create a nice little ratio here that I can say that my new Q value uh, would be uh, equal to essentially, since I'm creating a ratio, the new radius raised to the fourth. So what we want to do is we need to factor, uh, excuse me, we need to find out um, how much this radius changed by, right? So just reworking this equation, I can write something like this. I can write Q sub O over Q sub N is going to be equal to RO over RN, and this whole thing raised to the fourth power, okay? Now, it told us that the blood flow will be reduced to 1% of its original value. So what they're telling me that is that the new flow rate here will be 1% or 0.01 times its original value, Q sub 0. So what I can do here is take this and then substitute it on in for Q sub n. Now, why is that beneficial? Well, take a look at what happens. So now this is going to be Q sub o divided now by uh, 0 0.01 times Q sub o will equal then ro over rn raised to the fourth. Notice what happens here. These Qs cancel, right? So this leaves me now with exactly basically what I, oops, what I want, right? I want I wanted to cancel those Q sub O's, all right? So this is now saying that one over 0 0.01 is gonna be equal to this fraction, right? Raised to the fourth power. Now, how do you solve this equation? You gotta get rid of this fourth, right? So what you have to do is you gotta raise both sides now to the fourth power, uh, excuse me, to the one fourth power. So it would look something like this, RO over RN raised to the fourth, Okay, and now this thing raised to the one fourth would be equal to 0 0.01 and this thing now raised to that one fourth power. So these essentially cancel, leaving you with RO over RN. So this is the ratio of the old radius to that of the new radius. And that will then equal, you can plug this now on into the calculator. So use parentheses, 1 divided by 0.01, and then raise that now to the 1 fourth. And here we go. We get a value of 3.16. Okay. So this is now, so, so this is 3.16 to 1 if you wanted. You can write that over 1. That's fine. So what does this tell us? Right. This tells us that the, that the uh, radius of the original artery was 3.16 times larger than the radius of the new artery, okay? So it says, by what factor did the uh, radii have to, uh, of the, have to constrict? So if we had to figure out now the radi the, that relationship, now just think, this is the old radius to the new, okay? So the old were 3.16 times larger than the new, if I wanted to find the flipped ratio, which is actually what they're really asking for, it's okay that we get it, get it down to this. We just have to flip both sides. So if we flip this side, we got to flip this side. So in other words, Rn over R, I'm writing it on the upper left, Rn over RO is equal to 1 over 3.16. And now what I can do is plug that into the calculator if I so like. So now we realize, and this will then be equal to, right, this is going to be, whoops, this is going to be... Uh, now equal to 0 0.316 all over, uh, yeah, that's interesting, okay, all over 1. Sorry, just took me a second. Um, so now what we realize is this is essentially the, the relationship that from the original artery, okay, size, the final artery size is reduced to essentially 13, uh, excuse me, 31.6% of the original, right? Because this is in decimal form. 
So I can write that out in words. So I can say that the new radius is thir uh, 31, 31.6% of the original. All right, and that would be uh, that would be an answer. I mean, all of these are answers. It just depends on how you want to phrase it. All right. Um, yeah. So anyway, hope this helped, guys. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. That'd be awesome. And we look forward to helping you out with more questions. Take care.